All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of The Strength Classroom. Today, this is, I'm sorry, to the gentleman that requested for this video. I have taken far too long to make this video. It is about assisted unilateral exercises. Now, what I mean by that is, what makes unilateral exercises difficult is instability. There's a balance issue involved because the weight is more on one side of the body or you are trying to move the weight with only one side of the body. So if you were doing a flat dumbbell bench press, as the weight's coming down, you're literally would be, your body would be turning off the bench. So you have to stabilize yourself. So that does not happen because I don't know why you would want to fall off the bench. If you are doing a one arm overhead press, obviously the opposite oblique muscle will be working harder not to fall this way. Okay, like the I'm a little teapot song. So what I like to focus on because that's, this is specifically why the person asked me to make this video is split squats. So let's start off with that. So split squats are, or lunges, whatever you want to call them, they're slightly different, but in the same family are great. However, it kind of can get hard to load them heavy. There's some issues that come up when you are trying to load them heavy. If you're holding two heavy dumbbells, they could swing all over the place and bang into your leg a little bit just because of the thickness of the dumbbell. And this creates a lot of instability, How, which is good because the more you can train under an unstable condition, more often than not, the better you will be in a stable condition, okay? To a certain degree. Just like those people that are on like BOSU balls doing squats and think like all of a sudden it's going to carry over to them squatting. No, that's just being silly. That's like a circus leg. And then if you have a barbell on your back, that's even more unstable just because of where your hands are. So what I like to do is to load it in a different fashion while placing my opposite hand on something. Now this might sound like it's making it easier, but it's actually a progression, not a regression, because you are able to put more focus in that one limb, okay? So you've probably seen me in the past where I have a safety squat bar on my back and I'm holding on to my squat rack going up and down because this eliminates the instability in a normal lunge or a split squat. I don't have to worry about balance. All my effort and energy is going into this one leg. And that's the power of making an unstable exercise in an unstable environment a stable one. It allows you to hit the muscle harder and increase the loading potential. The safety squat bar, I easily have loaded 150 pounds. If I wanted to do the same thing, I would have to hold two 75 pound dumbbells. Now, it's the same amount of weight, but it's unstable and thus makes the exercise harder, but harder in a fashion that I don't want. So if you're training for stability and coordination, definitely do not hold on to something. If you are training strictly for muscle, hold on to something. It's as simple as that. Same with a one arm overhead press. Sometimes I like to hold on to my power rack as I'm pressing, so I can literally just focus on that one arm. It's all about what your goals are. So because you're removing the instability from the exercise, the loading potential is higher because you're just putting that focus into that muscle. I think I said that already, I'm not sure. So that's why I like doing the split squats with the safety squat bar. For those of you that don't have a safety squat bar, you might have to experiment in a different fashion. You can get the heaviest dumbbell you could find, put them in one arm. So you could just do them slightly light, lighter, but still focus on that muscle. You could put on a weighted vest, use a weighted backpack and put weights into it. Anything you can do to increase the loading. As simple as that. I can't really give any ideas. I'm sorry at this point because I just always use my safety squat bar. If I come up with something, by the time I edit this video, I will just plug it in right then and there. But if there is nothing right here, then I haven't figured it out for myself. 
I apologize in advance. So let's conclude this video, wrap it up. If you are focusing strictly on building muscle with unilateral exercises, do not be afraid to hold on to something because if this hits the muscle that you are targeting on the one side of the body harder because you do not have to worry about instability. Remember, it's about what you are training for. Don't be pressured to perform an exercise a certain way just because people on the internet will judge you otherwise. Your goals are your goals. Attack them however you feel is best. So, if you like this video, please click that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, share the videos with your friends if you think they'll like them as well. If you have a question for me, drop them in the comments. And as always, class is, wait, that's not my outro. Class is dismissed, mother